morning everybody I have just finished uh, getting loaded up here in Montreal no it's actually called La Salle but it's part of Montreal and so now we're on our way home yeah, it didn't even take them that long to get me loaded it was a little bit tight to get in there but uh, it was good to come into the yard, but uh, I had to come around and turn around like that and back into the building. Well, not into the building, but onto the dock. And it was a little bit, a uh, little bit tight to get in there, but we managed to get her in there. And I don't know what caused my clutch all of a sudden not to work properly. Uh, just all of a sudden, as, uh, as I was coming into uh, Montreal. Uh, I hit something on the road I, I know that for sure and that shook my truck there a little bit and I think that's what caused my uh, my uh, clutch all of a sudden not to work because uh, after that I couldn't I couldn't clutch anymore like it wouldn't just wouldn't clutch so uh, so yeah so I had to uh, Basically uh, try and get it in gear and then uh, and then start the engine up and then back her in there It was a little bit tough to get her in there, but we managed to get her in there And as I was leaving all of a sudden my clutch is working fine again, so I don't know what the heck What's going on with my clutch, but it's definitely doing something weird but Hopefully it will be good now Hopefully it has re adjusted itself to where it's supposed to be like mine is a manually uh, adjusted clutch so you have to manually adjust it so uh, yeah what do we got going on up here looks like a fire truck up here it must have had an accident up here yeah, that's probably why it's so slow up here Just stopping and going and stopping and going so <laughs> Well, he's actually driving the car onto the flat deck there, so it must not be too serious. Oh well, we'll see if we can squeeze by this guy here. He's sort of blocking my lane up here. And I saw the other guy manage to get by here, so hopefully we can do the same thing. Yeah, there we go. I get probably 10 inches, 10 inches on either side, and we managed to get by there. So here we go. Getting out of Montreal. I'll be happy once I get out of Montreal. Montreal is a tough place to drive. It's sort of like Mexico. You got a horn, you worry, you drive. That's how it works up here, it seems like at least. Everybody trying to cut everybody off and trying to get in the last minute, trying to get ahead of everybody. The roads are horrible up here in, 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 in Montreal. Two kilometers. Slide yeah, right just, on 13 North Aeroport. A nightmare, especially in rush hour. It's, it's a nightmare getting in, in and out of here. But Well, well, we managed to do okay. Other than uh, coming in, there was a little bit of traffic there. I had to be really careful so I could keep on rolling because I didn't really want to use my clutch as much as I possibly could avoid using it, you know. But uh, we managed to get her in there, and here we are. I guess I'll see if, uh, if I have no more problems after this, then uh, I guess I'll be okay. But uh, if I still will have problems by the time I get home, I'll take it back into the shop and I'll get it looked at and see what's going on. Because that's, uh, I could be dangerous, you know, if uh, all of a sudden I can't clutch and can't take it out of gear or whatever, you know, that could be, could be a little bit of a dangerous situation, you know, you don't want that, so, but I'm happy I got loaded here today, I didn't have a good day yesterday, at least for driving part, I didn't have like a horrible day yesterday, it was, it was a good day, but I didn't get a lot of miles in, but, yeah, that's, that's the way it goes sometimes as truckers, you know, we, uh, Sometimes we get good days and then other days aren't so good, you know, sometimes you sit a day somewhere and sometimes you don't meters. Slide so, uh, on 13 North Aeroport we'll Miracle try and get and into this lane to the right in 410 meters. That's the way we gotta go 
Hopefully Slide we'll drive on pod 13 north aeroport nearable and then keep to the right in 410 meters. Hopefully it will be okay with traffic getting out of Montreal. Usually it's like especially this time of the day still it's still morning here. Oh, it's 9 30 right here now, so it should be should be slowing down keep now. To the I right think on pod 13 north we'll about. see, we'll see. Rollover warning ahead. Alright, rollover warning ahead. Holy smokes. Alright. Better take her easy, I guess. But yeah, we gotta take this highway 13 up here north to, I believe it's 40. And then, uh, yeah, take that out of Montreal. That will take us out of Montreal. That will take us over to 417. And then we'll be out of Montreal. Yay, I'll be happy. Looks like it's not a far drive. It looks like six kilometers now, we should be on 40. And that is the way to go out, so. All right, yeah, they got a really sharp curve up there, I guess. That's why they say rollover warning ahead, I guess. Yeah. All right, I guess I'll keep on rolling. And then uh, something interesting happens, we'll be back. Just finished me some breakfast, or I should say lunch, I guess. Got me something to eat getting hungry I'm in Ontario already then it's uh, light flurries up here which I don't really like to see but yeah, as long as it stays light flurries it's okay I guess but uh, yeah, our roads are a little bit wet but yeah it's had me a nice spaghetti uh, Italian sauce spaghetti dinner with some meatballs in there that was really good. Now we got 216 kilometers up to North Bay. Wow, that's that's quite a way up. So, yeah, we'll see how far we make it today, but uh, we'll try and get as far as we can, obviously. But uh, we'll see what happens, right? Well, guys, it is a very exciting evening for me or it has been a very exciting evening for me my heart is still pounding because uh, I made it up here to South St. Marie and I'm walking into the truck stop like high speed going to the washroom you know taking care wanted to go get taken taking care of business and lo and behold, I heard somebody calling my name. Well, wouldn't you know it? It's Trucker Josh calling my name. Like I walked right by him and I didn't even see him. <laughs> hey, that's how much in a hurry I was, you know. But, hey, we met up and we talked for a little bit. And it was nice to see him again. So now I'm all excited and, hey. I don't even know what to say, you know. <laughs> oh well, <clears throat> he's got uh, he's got his YouTube channel. If you guys don't know, I'm sure you, most of you guys will know him. But uh, yeah, he's he's got his own YouTube channel there, and he's pretty successful already with that. And uh, yeah, it was nice nice talking to him again, and. Uh, seeing him and uh, whatever you know but uh, hey he's going to do, do some stuff around here so tomorrow I think and uh, I'll be making my way home he'll do his stuff and I'll do my stuff right but uh, yeah it's nice to, to run into friends you know uh, I consider him as a friend friend of mine and he lives uh, lives in the same area now that I do so it's always nice to meet up with another trucker you know, as truckers always we got stories, right? <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'm gonna call it a day, and uh, I guess we'll see you guys again tomorrow at 5 a.m.